said she want gangsta. She no want silly billy. She want a man with the jack and with really jilly. She said the real man with him have. Yeah. Go on, you tell go on, go on. Ease yourself, just keep it calm, you tell star. Only put pressure on my car. What time it hard for carry on? We no need no girl for turn to no man for talk to. Feeling hurt, but the journey so far. Show me, know me, we go do things and nobody hug you. Me lay good in no sense and stand told me hard. Cause I work one success family. Hope everyone is doing all right. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe to get all our latest videos like this video, so we can continue to drop more contents like this one. All right, so Vibes Cartel alongside his co-accused anxiously await the verdict of their appeal to the UK based Privy Council scheduled for next week Thursday March 14 the appeal initiated by cartel his lawyers and also the co-accused Sean Sean Storm Campbell Kyra Jones and Andre St. John stems from their 2011 murder conviction the proceedings concluded recently after a concise two-day hearing initially estimated to span approximately 12 weeks the surprisingly swift Resolution suggests an expedited process, perhaps indicating meticulous attention paid to the case post hearing. Cartel pay for express shipping. <laughs> Fun and joke aside, the Privy Council has announced that the appellants will receive their judgment at 11 a.m. Jamaica time with the proceedings available via live stream. So while hopes for a favorable outcome run high, there exists a spectrum of interpretations you know, regarding the potential decision implications. One perspective posits that the rapidity of the appeal process reflects comprehensive examination and deliberation upon the evidence presented, right? So this scrutiny may have unveiled critical flaws and contamination within the case, rendering a retrial unjustifiable. So a retrial would basically be unfair. Such a verdict would likely incite widespread jubilation across Jamaica, marked by celebratory pot banging, you know, school closures due to exuberant students and a deluge of social media posts and echoing the magnitude really of cartel's impact conversely there remains a stark of reality wherein despite clearing issues such as jury tampering and questionable evidence the privy council might uphold the original conviction based on incriminating texts in this scenario the prospect of a retrial may seem untenable right given the concerns regarding systemic bias and justice within the legal apparatus entrusting the case to a system marred by abuse of power and prejudice could fundamentally undermine the pursuit of justice and fairness so rights inherently owed to all individuals regardless if they are guilty or innocent you get me? In either eventuality, the impending judgment carries profound ramifications resonating not only throughout the Caribbean but also reverberating globally given Vibes Cartel international prominence. Ultimately, the Privy Council's decision will not only shape the fate of the appellants but also serve as a barometer of justice integrity within Jamaica's legal framework. You see me? So them just need to do the right thing.